Hey, what's going on everyone? Cardiac Rest here and today we have the Sword and Shield Ultra Premium Collection and as you can see I got the Marnie mat out like I said I would in the last video because what did the Marnie box bring us? And brought us some good luck. So we're going to see if this box here can do the same thing. So I believe this is the original Sword and Seal Shield set. Let me crack this open and start showing you what's inside here. I paid about $140 for this at my local card shop. It's a little bit cheaper on eBay before taxes and potential shipping. But uh, I also got a decent price on it because I bought a couple different things that day at the card shop. So been holding this one for a few days. Had the itch to rip. Here we are. As much as I'd love to be able to hold on to stuff, I just, I can't, especially when I got lucky with the last thing, so. Here's the box. It is up to me to figure out how to open it. Here we go. Opens off this side, so. It's a nice box. I just off camera since I am making a mess. But uh, so here's some stuff and some packs. Something in here. Something in here. And there's more. So this is just the booklet. I'll show that there. So this is the series booklet and everything. I think that might be it. Can't tell if this opens or not. No. So I believe this is it. I'm going to close the box for now. Show you what's inside these little ones. So, saw some packs fall out. They're the Darkness of Blaze set. Uh, some heavy, heavy dice. Some coins. Cool stuff. Inside this box, we also have some dividers that look like that, so those are neat. So there's a mix of packs here, so some more Darkness Ablaze, some Rebel Clash, four and four there. Uh, here is a Zakian. Here's the other one, uh, Zamazenta. Those are exclusive to this. A nice little pin. Some sleeves to represent each one. And even more packs. So we got some sword and shield, sword and shield, sword and shield, sword and shield. And ooh, nice. We get some vivid voltage in here as well. So all these have some dividers. There's another coin. And yeah, sick. We got a lot of packs to go through here. Let me set all this stuff down and I will start. So I'm not too familiar with some of these sets. I know the Vivid Voltage one. That's about it. These two promo cards will go in sleeves. Most likely after. And let's get in. We'll start with the Vivid Voltage here. One, two, three, four. We got water. Walmer, Cottony, Electrike, Execute. We got a Ferrothorn here. Into a Quagsire. So this is cool. I think this is worth it for 16 packs plus the promos. I thought it was only going to be the way I read it. I just read it wrong. I thought it was just going to be like 10 of the basic packs. So this is a surprise to me. And a happy one at that. I mean, I love just opening anything. So we got a reverse Galvantula and a Manectric. I mean, if we were able to pull like the Pikachu rainbow out of here... You would not hear me complain one bit. 
We do have something. Ooh. What if we did? That'd be crazy. Sableye, Galvantula, Skiddo, Phariseed, Drover, Joltik. Let's go for it. Drapion. I think I already have this guy. But, it just means now I have two of them. So we'll get him in a sleeve. Last Vivid Voltage Pack. Electric, Beauty, Charmander, Whooper, Meowth, Cottony, Aracuda, Puccina, and Clefable. That's the name. I'm like, I know this Pokemon. I don't know why my brain just didn't work on that for a second. I apologize. But okay, that was the uh, first set. We'll do Rubble Clash next. I want to say these ones, let me know if I'm wrong. There's a very, very big chance that I'm wrong. I think these have tag team cards. I think it's four as well. Yes, cool. And okay, we do have something, so let's find out. Bronzong, cool Metapod, Magikarp, Metadite, Wingle, Impidimp, and Copperjaw. I remember using him in the Sword and Shield game. Very useful. It's a neat looking card. More Rebel Clash here. One, two, three, four. And flip. Luxio, Durant, Aracuda, Stuffle, Lotad, Growlithe. There's a Darumaka. And Arcanine. It's cool looking Arcanine. Alright, we got two more of these Rebel Clash packs. I've also heard, and okay, so if I've been looking correctly, the uh, codes, if it's white on the back, it seems to be a good sign, whereas green on the back seems to not be. That's at least what I've noticed in this. Both the V cards I've had, Burning Scarf there, you know, Diggersby. It's been uh, with the white online trading card pack. It's just what I've noticed. So, for example, this one's a white one. Let's continue the hypothesis. Am I right or wrong here? I'm wrong. Cool. That answers that. I apologize for my questionnaire for the last minute now. Wingle. But see, now we have a hollow, though, so Appleton. Appleton. So, maybe I'm not wrong. Darkness of Boys. Here we go. We got green back. Fighting. Clink. Torchic. Ooh, it's a pretty card. Darminitan, and we got Muck. Good old Muck. I'm wondering if we're gonna get like a V per, so like, or if like the Vs, I just am also not educated as much as I should be on Pokemon yet for the amount I've opened in the past month, but like the odds. I wonder if it's like one in four, and that's why they did that. So, Puppetar, Arctivish, Okay, so this is a white one, white back. Let's find out if this has anything good in it. So, one, two, three, four, Flip, Peak. I didn't see anything. Could ruin the hypothesis, Mr. Mind, Torchic, uh, Panpour. And so it has the reverse hollow, or the hollow, so the Tyranitar. So far, I'm sticking with it being correct. So this one's green. 
Might not get a V out of here. It's a shame. Furret, Yellhorn, Phoebus, Fletching, Wingpod, Pansage, and Delcaddy. All right, last four packs. This is the original Sword and Shield. One, two, three, four. Steel, Haunter, Thwacky, Snom, Grookey. He was my starter. Uh, Mawile. I used to love using Roselia in Emerald. We got Rose Ray. All right, white. One, two, three, four. Yep, see? Okay. This hypothesis is working. Also, if this is not new news, I apologize, but we got Muna. And we got a full art. Of bead so that's cool actually I think that's not terrible I think the full arts are kind of rare 199 and 202 all right two more packs see if we can come away with one more super nice card maybe I'm presuming not but you never know Kufan, Ball Toy, Sizzlepeed, Zigzagoon. We got a Wooloo. And Lapras. Alright, last pack mojo here. What can we come away with? We got a Fire Seed on the front. We got a White Back. A little Peak. Ah, uh, we just have a Hollow, I think. Dotler, Great Ball, Goldeen, Roselia, Joltik. We got a Marketus and a Oranguru. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will wrap up this box. A lot of cool stuff in it. There's a run through of all the reverse hollows and hollows. Here are the quote unquote hits. It's probably the nicest card we got Copper Jaw V and Drapion V. And of course, the ones that I'm going to take out of these carefully and put in the sleeves later. These two guys right here. So, thank you all for watching. Once again, if you're new here with Pokemon, I also do a lot of sports cards if you want to subscribe. I try to post a couple of days a week. So, we'll, uh, we'll see if I can keep this going. Get some more Pokemon stuff soon. I believe I am out right now, but... There should be some more stuff coming in, such as the Collectible Card Club. If that resubs and continues another month, I'll have that. The Poke Packs will come back. Might be doing less boxes, but having those will always be fun. So thank you all for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you next time.